Hey guys, what's up? I hope it's not too windy sounding for you here. Just sitting on my back porch enjoying the sunset. Thought I would do another book review and it's another self-help slash motivational book. This one is called Start, period. But it's got like some sub, some subtitles here. Subtitles? Anyway, it's got some other titles here. And what, let's have a look and see. It says, Punch Fear in the Face, Escape Average, Do Work That Matters, Start, by John A. Cuff. Uh, he's a Wall Street Journal best-selling author. Then I got this book in, let me just, let me break it down for you. I got this book in 2013 for a graduation present, my high school graduation present. Haven't read it. Friends, parents got it for me. I was just like, yeah, that's, that's good. I don't need, I'm not afraid of anything. So just slip that underneath the bed or whatever and forget about it. Well, time's passed by. Saw it standing on my bookshelf after I reorganized everything. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna give it a read. Why haven't I yet? It's probably a good book, especially after reading. I used to be a miserable fuck. I was like, I could use more books like this. So I picked it up. Average to awesome. All right, no one aims for average. No one sets out for the status quo. And no one longs for ordinary. One day you wake up and ask yourself, how did I get here? You wonder if it's if there's a way to be awesome more often, a way to punch fear in the face, escape average, and do work that matters. Uh, John A. Cuff, he likes to break down the road he says there's a road to awesome, okay? Or to being awesome more often at least, okay? You just have to start. That's the main thing. That's the main part of this book is just start. Whatever you want, start now. But he breaks down the road to awesome into some categories. One, two, three, four, five categories, and they're all grouped by your age section. So let's take a look here. You got your 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, and 60s. Your 20s, you're learning. Your 30s, you're editing. Your 40s, you're mastering. 50s, harvesting. And 60s, you're guiding. But the great news is no longer about when you were born, it's about when you decide to live. You don't have to be in your 20s to learn and you don't have to be in your 50s to harvest. Saying that if you start something, you're in your 20s in that subject, okay? If you wanna be an author and you've never written a book before and you're 55 years old, guess what, you're, you're in your 20s as far as being an author goes. Uh, great book, John Acuff is Christian. The book is not Christian uh, based though. He does allude to God and some other things and uh, work with church and pastors here and there, but it's not the main subject of the book. Um, he likes to tell things in stories. So he'll talk about a person he knows, a situation that has happened to him, uh, how your road to awesome might look different. For instance, he does writing and motivational speeches and he thought maybe one day he'd make some furniture for his wife for their anniversary. Turned out to be a really bad thing that happened, like he just did not do well. And he said, you know what, my awesome isn't making furniture. Your awesome might not be making furniture, being a rock star, it might not being, you know, someone who's um, uh, a motivational speaker or a YouTuber or a social media influencer, or whatever the case you wanna, you know, you however you wanna spin it, you might be really good at cooking and blessing people through providing great meals. He says to dream honestly in here, to pick your battles, uh, to not climb the ladder of entitlement and think that you deserve something. Don't let your 15 minutes of fame cost you a lifetime. So if you get one success, don't just like get stuck on that and ride that out. Just keep telling it over and over and ride the glories. Look for more opportunities. Start again and again and again. There's a story in here about how um, he was talking about this comedian friend of his and his comedian friend said, I don't care if I bomb, it's, it doesn't weigh on my mind too much because then I have a show in an hour. I do so many shows that even if I bomb once or twice, I don't have time to think about it because I'm already doing another show and thinking about how that feels. So, and that's a good, you know, to just continuously keep trying, keep trying. If you fail, don't let that fail haunt you. If you succeed, don't get stuck on it, you know? Keep looking for those new horizons. And don't be afraid that you won't reach as far up as like say, and here he raises like $60,000 I think through a blog or something, I forget what the number it was, but it was pretty quickly that he reached this good amount of money and he built a, an elementary school in Vietnam. And then he was saying how he was afraid to try it again because he wasn't, he wasn't sure if he'd be able to reach as much money uh, or as, uh, as much money as quickly. Um, so that stopped him from trying again. He eventually did. Uh, but like it was a hang up that he had because he was afraid that he wouldn't do as well. But you have to understand like you're not, you know, defined by your one success. Um, so if, if you don't do as well it, it, and it's still a success, then it's still a success. It doesn't matter if it's not as well. You have to keep trying. Like the road to awesome is continuous work. Um, don't be late, you know give 30 minutes to your dreams if you want to do something wake up half an hour earlier and just spend that half an hour working on that particular craft
He talks about writing. He talks about waking up at 5 o'clock and spending 5 to 5.30 or 5 to 6 just writing instead of taking it up during the day or stressing out about it. All we need is 30 minutes. All we need is 30 minutes. So he talks about time management system, being selfish at 5 a.m. Uh, you have so much energy when you wake up and you have all the energy, you know, after after you get off work, you're a little, you're really tired out. You probably don't want to chase your dream as much. You just want to sit down. So it's easier to like not work on it after work. Um, he's got common myths in here about certain things like guiding. Everyone should guide the same way. Um, how to guide, you know, once you've reached success, like pull someone up, grab someone, bring them back up, you know, mentor someone, help them out. Um, all, all this stuff, you know, focus on, focusing on content in your work. Don't get caught up on promotion. He talks about social media. Even back in 2013, social media was huge. So don't let, you know, the idea itself not flourish and become something before you actually go out and promote it. Like some people start a band and they're so busy like getting their friends to like the page or, um, you know, sharing the word that they're starting a band as opposed to actually practicing and getting music together and getting a set and going and playing shows and letting it promote itself. Because once it's good enough, people will get it around. Don't worry about it. Um, so take a part-time job. If you want to learn something, say like, I don't know, maybe I do want to be like a, a, a reader or something, you know, or, you know, what have you. Insert blank. So... He says, maybe take a part-time job in it. Maybe volunteer in it. Help out in it. Talk to people you know in it. It's all about constantly starting. Be a student of yourself, you know. Discover what you do like and don't like and take note of it. Work harder and smarter. Harvest someone else's field. Stay on the shoulders of giants, you know. Like, let someone else guide you. Ask people for help. Ask people for, um, not just to, like, carry you, like, the entire way, but, you know, see what they have to offer. So many people have done what you might want to do before you and you can it's you know you can literally get their information without without even half the work like the internet like isn't that crazy we could just get on the internet and like learn so much educating yourself is free entirely free elon musk even said that uh ev like literally college just teaches you how to do chores you know education everything you learn there is you can find entirely free on the internet and elsewhere I really did not have any freaking qualms about this book. It was so fantastic. Loved it. I would walk around on my lunch breaks um, and read it. Just like, uh, I think I finished this like maybe two months ago, back in August, but I was just like reading and walking it in my yard and stuff every chance I got. Um, there's a, there's an action plan in the back. Uh, so you can, uh, 10 things to do if you're unemployed. It talks about like, you know, getting jobs, action plans on like everything, all the lessons that are in this book. It talks you how to, it tells you how to practice them and stuff. There's this really great passage. I'm gonna ruin, um, I'm gonna ruin the end for you guys. So if you do not wanna hear the last page, turn this off real quick. Okay, if you're still here and you wanna hear this, this is the last, this is the last, this is my favorite quote in the entire book, the last page. Made me tear up a little bit at the end, I'm not gonna lie. But after, after you read this, uh, I hope you punched fear in the face. I hope you escaped average. I hope you figured out what your diamonds are and started doing work that matters. I hope you realize the door to purpose has been unlocked this entire time or this whole time. And when you survey your life and find something else that could be more awesome, I hope you do what I'm do going to do once I finish writing the sentence. Start again. And that's the whole point of this book. Very good. Very powerful, heartfelt book. Fantastic information. Guys, I'm going to be giving this book to my friend Caitlin. I think she could really use it. Uh, just because after, when I, while I was reading this, that's, that's who I thought of. So I figured, um, Caitlin, you could use this book. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you really enjoy it. I hope you get a lot out of it. Please, 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 please read this book. Um, Caitlin, that is, if you're just watching on your own YouTube, then I suggest you go pick it up. You probably find it for real cheap online. It's been out for a while, but read this book. Take what's inside here, apply it. You guys, as always, take it easy. Stay natty, team natty out.